The following video is intended for adult collectors and is not recommended for children under the age of 13. Parental discretion is advised. When the G.I. Joe Classified 6-inch line was announced, I knew that I wanted two things. I absolutely wanted a Baroness figure, and I 100% wanted vehicles. Fast forward to Hasbro announcing the Target exclusive Cobra Island line and their Baroness figure with a vehicle. It seemed almost impossible to find until one day it popped up on the shelf and I snagged it right away. So today I'm excited to take a look at G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra Island Baroness and the Cobra Coil. You may call me the Baroness and call yourself a fool. It's Kato! And just like always, I'm going to start off by taking a look at the accessories. And this thing is loaded down with accessories. Firstly, you get this really kind of crazy looking robotic Cobra. Nice, just fantastic paint apps on that thing. It looks amazing with that gold in there, the little red painted eyes, the laser tongue. <laughs> Things pretty wicked. And it will wrap around her arm. I may show that later. But this thing looks amazing. You get two reasonably well-molded guns for the bike, for the Cobra Coil there. And it looks good. They've got some molded stuff on the, the end. It looks very futuristic. And it pegs into the bike on the side there. And I'm, I'm sure I'll show that during this review at some point. You get a secondary head, which is basically just a helmet. And it just plugs in on the peg. I may try that. Joints are a little tight, so we'll see how that goes. But it's a really good looking helmet. Black. I might do some paint touch-ups on it though. You get a dagger, which is amazing with that cobra head on there painted in gold. Looks really, really good. Two gold pistols. They both look like they're molded well. As you can tell, you get a nice backdrop if you're into that sort of thing, showing the terror drone. I really like that. Got some trouble bubbles in the background there. Very cool. This will be something that will be neat to take out and kind of frame. I don't know. I just, I kind of like that. I'm not usually big on backdrops. And last but not least, the star of the show, other than the Baroness herself, the Cobra Coil. Let's see. Let me put these guns on here real quick and see how they look. There you go. The other one on this side. I will say when it comes out of the package, this handlebar is packed separately. It is a crazy tight fit to get in that peg hole. I can't imagine it coming out very easily, but it's good. I mean, it's, it's actually heavier than I thought it was going to be after seeing some other reviews. I thought it was going to be really light, but it's, it's actually not very, bad. It's got some good weight to it. Plastic tires, but they are a little soft, kind of like uh, soft plastic. It could definitely use some more paint, but wheels turn or the front wheel turns. You've got your guns here on the side, gray here for the engine parts, black molded seat to make it look like it's got some texture. Well, it actually does have a little texture to it. Nice Cobra logo on the gas tank. Some yellow up here for the instrument panel. Looks like, yeah, the windshield moves a little bit for whatever reason. Triple exhaust back here. Get it from the back. I mean, overall, I think it's actually really, really well done. I was expecting it to be more cheap feeling, but. It's actually not bad. I think it's the red plastic here that kind of adds to the cheaper feeling of it. The fact that there's more paint and color back here than here. I mean, a little bit of silver paint for maybe the brake, uh, brake rotors or anything like that would be really well done. It does have a kickstand, even though you don't really need it because of the width of the tires, but you can absolutely 
put that down there to keep it a little sturdier. Got some gray on the front there. What I'm assuming would be the headlight. Kind of a translucent faded green to clear on the windshield. This thing is actually really impressive. I am pleasantly surprised. I thought this was going to feel much cheaper than it really does. One thing that's very important to me when it comes to a figure and the accessories is that you can store them on the figure and you can put the knife there. She has two holsters on her back, just like that. And even the little Cobra that can stand up fairly well on its own can wrap around her arm if you want to have her hold that. So very cool that the accessories can all be used just like they are. To swap the head, just pop it off the peg and pop the helmet back on and you get that skin tone of her neck there. So that looks good. I don't know that I'll ever actually use that, but it looks like her head will go up well enough with it that she could really ride the bike well. And you can get her on the bike. It actually works. And I think it's kind of neat that her trigger finger here actually hits the clutch and brake. I think that looks really good. The There are pegs on the footboard here so that her feet can go there, but it's pretty useless the way that it's wrapped around. I can't really get her feet to peg in there that well, but these rear footboards here are much, make much more sense anyway. They should have added pegs to these instead of here. This is These are pretty useless, but overall, really well done. Her hair does kind of hinder putting her head forward with her, uh, with this head on. But overall, I think that, I mean, it's pretty spot on. Now, as we start to take a look at the figure, uh, right away, the first impression was magnificent. I think the black and red are perfect. The black hair is great. The glasses are amazing. Let's get a close up of her head sculpt and the glasses are permanent but you can see her eyes back there and they look pretty straight i think the lips and the little bit of teeth back there are done well so the head sculpt is really good you can go down about that far up not so far because of the hair but you saw with the helmet you can get a little more uh, side to side uh, a reasonable amount and you can <laughs> rotate it all the way around if that's something you want to do. But the hair is bendable enough to go over the shoulders if you want to turn her hair over those. So that's good. That's, that's pleasant. The arms, you got that great Cobra shoulder pad with some very snakeskin like arm texture there. You do get a nice butterfly, a lot back. More back than front, you get a little bit. That's probably straight. You get a little bit front there. You get a, uh, do you get a shoulder swivel? Not, no, you don't. That's a solid piece right there, so you don't get a shoulder swivel. You get a swivel at the elbow and a single joint at the elbow, so not a whole lot of arm articulation. Seems to be a problem with a lot of the female figures that Hasbro puts out. The hands will rotate 360 and I don't see a joint in there for any kind of, um, maybe, yep, you do get a roll of the dice and they're hidden really well. So that's good. You get some side to side. Very good. Coming down the chest, you got the Cobra emblem there on the chest with more texture in there underneath the armor. The same texture that's on the arms there, you get on the back and on the abs. One thing kind of annoying is that this piece is separate. It's good for articulation, but it does flop around a, a good bit with that Cobra emblem there. You get ab crunch, so you can go about there and back about that far and some side to side. So very good there. And waist rotation is there, but it feels very tight. Like it worries me how tight that is. But you can get a little bit more of a bend 
there at the waist. Coming around to the back, you can see more armor detailing there, along with her holsters. You can see what I mean. These things flop around like crazy, but only, only while you're messing with it. Some nice ripples in the booty. Yeah, pretty good. The legs will go out pretty straight. I'll give that to her. And back a reasonable amount, considering that you have this butt in the way. You can drop that down or up if you want to get a little bit more out of it. Up there, so you can drop that joint down and maybe get a little more like that. I feel like I'm having a hard time keeping this on camera. Ugh, sorry. The, whole, the sheath here for the knife is loose as well and can kind of flop around. Be careful with that. That feels fairly thin. You get thigh rotation. You do get a double jointed knee to get back about that far. Uh, nothing at the boot and some ankle tilt rotation and a great pivot. So yeah, all in all, articulation is about what you expect. I do wish that there was a little bit more range of motion in the elbow. That's kind of disappointing. Not a real big fan of that, but still really glad to get this figure in hand. Was looking for her for a while. There she is beside her other female counterpart in the line, Scarlet. It's nice to see that they don't seem to have used a lot of the same female parts. So that's good. We, ne we know we have at least two female molds for this. There she is beside her main man, Destro, and I like that size difference. He's a little bit taller than her. I think that works well. And there she is beside the other Cobra members that I have or that I've unboxed so far. I do have some other things still in a box. So what is there really to say about the Baroness figure from the Cobra Island line at Target? One, ridiculous how difficult it was to get a hold of. Absolutely worth the wait. The mold is great. I love that it's a second female mold already. The bike much more of a surprise than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to feel much, much cheaper. Uh, a little too glossy, maybe, like the seat and stuff. A little too glossy. I wish that the front looked like the back and the snake fell down. But, uh, yeah, I mean, overall, I think it's a fantastic figure. I love the accessories. I love that you can store the accessories on everything that you need to and you don't have anything lingering around. The articulation is a little disappointing. I don't like the single jointed elbows. I think that's kind of disappointing. I like the secondary head of having the helmet. Uh, I mean, overall, absolutely get the thing if you're into it. I do have a few little paint scratches there on the plastic, probably from taking out of the box. But yeah, really good. Really, really good. And again, it just makes me want more. And I'm really looking forward to everything that Hasbro has in store for this. Hopefully they don't cheap out and they keep giving us great stuff and possibly more vehicles. On that note, guys, please take a second. Subscribe to the other Rejected Cons in the description below. That's Inutabi, Sardu, Numspy82, and Larkin's Lair. And be on the lookout for more G.I. Joe classified reviews as well as my other Transformers reviews and likewise. Until next time, guys, take it easy. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see the channel grow, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and share this video out there to your friends. As always, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and giving me your valuable time. I appreciate each and every one of you. And remember to be good to yourself, be good to each other, and always play. This is Kato, signing out.